morning. Today is day two of the consecration to St. Joseph. So we are going to start with the reading. Go ahead, Henrietta. Okay. Um, Page 25. Okay, day two. The Litany of St. Joseph. Knowing by experience St. Joseph's astonishing influence with God, I would wish to persuade everyone to honor him with particular devotion. I have always seen those who honored him in a special manner make progress in virtue. For this heavenly protector favors in a striking manner the spiritual advancement of souls who command, commend themselves to him, St. Teresa of Avila. You have probably heard of St. Maximilian Colby, the heroic priest who gave his life for another prisoner in the concentration camp at Auschwitz. St. Maximilian was a zealous promoter of Our Lady and Marian consecration. He followed, he founded the Militia Immaculata in 1917 to spread devotion to Our Lady around the world. But have you heard of Father Joseph Kentenich, another great promoter of devotion to Our Lady? In 1941, Father Kentenich was arrested by the Gestapo and put in prison in Germany. For medical reasons, the Nazis did not intend to send him to a concentration camp. Zealous for Our Lady, however, Father Kentenich requested he be sent to the concentration camp at Dachau. He wanted to offer his suffering for the Marian movement he had initiated in 1914, called Schlossstadt. He founded the Schlossstadt movement in order to teach Our Lady's virtues to people and transform the world through Marian consecration. Father Kentenich spent three years in Dachau. Father Kentenich's method of Marian consecration is known as the covenant of love. He believed that a covenant of love with Mary would transform the world by turning the members of Schloenstadt into apparitions of Mary. Not literal apparitions, of course, rather by imitating Mary's virtues, the members of Schlossenstadt would become reflections of Marian apparitions of Our Lady in the world. Wow. Sorry. The church and the world need such apparitions. The church and the world also need apparitions of St. Joseph. Men and women who radiate the virtues of St. Joseph, especially his faithful love as a husband and father, in a world plagued with gender ideology and confusion about marriage and family, reflections of Mary and St. Joseph are very much needed. Consecration to St. Joseph and imitation of his virtues will make this happen. The litany of St. Joseph will prepare you for total consecration to your spiritual father and teach you how to resemble his virtues. The litany dates back to at least the 16th century and has been prayed by countless saints. The version you will pray was approved and indulgence, indulged by St. Pope Pius X in 1909. Through the litany of St. Joseph, you will learn the virtues and wonders of your spiritual father and become an apparition of St. Joseph in the world. I take refuge in thy arms, St. Joseph, so that thou mayest lead me in the path of virtue. St. Clement Mary Hofbauer. St. Joseph is your model for loving Jesus, Mary, and souls. Models are meant to be replicated. Through imitation of St. Joseph's virtues, you will become 
like your model and have a tremendous impact on the world. St. Joseph's virtues will become your virtues. You are to become another Joseph. His St. Joseph's eminent virtues constitute his merit and he becomes our model. Blessed William Joseph Chaminade. St. Joseph is our guide and our model because our vocation is like his. We must live his life, practice his virtues, and assimilate his spirit. St. Peter Julian Amard. Let us love Jesus above all. Let us love Mary as our mother. But then how could we keep from loving Joseph, who was so intimately united to both Jesus and Mary? And how can we honor him better than by imitating his virtues? Now, what else did he do in all his life but contemplate, study, and adore Jesus, even in the midst of his daily labors? Behold, therefore, our model. St. Madeline Sophie Barat. Okay, so now the litany. We're going to pray the litany to St. Joseph. Okay. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven. Have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Holy Mary. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Noble offspring of David. Pray for us. Light of patriarchs. Pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God. Pray for us. Chaste guardian of the Virgin. Pray for us. Foster father of the Son of God. Pray for us. Zealous defender of Christ. Pray for us. Head of the Holy Family. Pray for us. Joseph most just. Pray for us. Joseph most chaste. Pray for us. Joseph most prudent. Pray for us. Joseph most courageous. Pray for us. Joseph most obedient. Pray for us. Joseph most faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of patience. Pray for us. Lover of poverty. Pray for us. Model of workmen. Pray for us. Glory of domestic life. Pray for us. Guardian of virgins. Pray for us. Pillar of families. Pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted. Pray for us. Hope of the sick. Pray for us. Patron of the dying. Pray for us. Terror of demons. Pray for us. Protector of the Holy Church. Pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. He has made him Lord of his household. And prince over all his possessions. Let us pray. O God, who in your loving providence chose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother, grant us the favor of having him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. So next we're going to do the memoir okay. to St. Joseph. 242. It's on page what for, for is, you? For the book, it's page 240. Yes. It's the memoir to St. Joseph. Under prayers to St. Joseph. There you go. Okay. Remember, 
Remember, O most chaste spouse of the Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto you, my spiritual father, and beg your protection, O foster father of the Redeemer. Despite not my petitions, but in your goodness, hear and answer me. Amen. Amen. Yes, please despise not our petitions. And I, and I hope that you made a um, petition for whatever is important in your life right now. You know, I have four kids. I have two girls and two boys. Yeah. And I always like to pray the memorard to Mary for my that's, girls. That's and what I was doing. Boys, for my boys, I pray the memorard to St. Joseph. And if I have a little more time, I do the whole litany because the litany is a little longer, but um, the memoir is beautiful because well, my petition is for my kids, my boys. Well, what's interesting is the memoir to Mary was the one that I relied on to help me with. I was going through a terrible custody battle. So I never thought that there was a memoir to St. Joseph. And like I have this memorized for St. for Mary. But now that I know this, I will begin to do this for my sons. While you were doing that, I was actually doing it for my sons because we haven't had a father figure in our life, uh, neither me nor my boys. Um, so uh, for me, this is just a beautiful, beautiful um, thing that we're doing. And I hope for others who maybe your father has died. Uh, like my mother said, when, when she, she was dying, she said, you will always have Mary. Once you don't have your mother on earth, you then turn to Mary. So I think the same thing goes with Joseph. If you, for whatever reason, don't have your father in your life, whether he's never been there or whether he's died and maybe you're missing him terribly. I have one of my Facebook friends that just is missing her father so much. So this is the prayer to, you know, maybe pray for that person's soul on the other side. Yes. So what, what are we doing now? Now we're doing the, I was the, thinking maybe we can add just two more prayers, short ones, but very important ones. One is for the Holy souls in purgatory. Okay. Um, it, it's the one you just put up the purgatory prayer. It's very important because every time we pray this, a thousand souls gets free to go to heaven. So, well, that's what they say, but, you know, I like to believe that. So if we all say that, and then we can do the um, uh, St. Michael prayer to protect us in battle out there in the world. And you can do that one. So in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Eternal Father. I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. When I'm doing this alone, I'm sorry. When I'm doing this alone, I like to say my family members names after within my family i say especially such and such all those that have died and for people that i'm just praying for okay and the next one is um hold on the next one is prayer to saint michael the archangel defend us in battle that okay yeah. okay so i say that one. okay saint michael the archangel Defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the divine power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. So that was day two. Day two is Wait, shorter than day I thought, one. I thought you had one more that you wanted us to say at the end. No, that's good. Two is good. 
because oh, starting, we're not doing the armor of God. Okay. Starting tomorrow, it's going to be a little longer, the wonders. Okay. Because the first two days are just the prayer part. So you understand the prayers we're saying and why we're saying them. And then mm -hmm. the next part is going to start a little lengthier middle, which is the second part. Okay. After our reading, we're going to start our wonder part, which is a little bit longer. So Okay. So just the beginning is a little different, basically. Yes. So other then we will be following one format. It'll be day one, then the wonder, and then the prayer. At the exactly. End. Okay. And the prayer is always going to be the litany at the end. Oh, at the end, it'll always be the litany. Okay. Yes. And then between right. and the middle after the reading is going to be a fact about saint joseph it's going to be a wonder so, oh in the um, wonders there's a fact about him i see oh yes that's that's when we really get to know him okay it's in the middle part which they they give you experiences and things that happened in his life and why he's called all those beautiful things that he's called in the litany right you know all those things that we call him in the litany especially right. the one the the defender of of demons or the protector uh, the terror of demons. the terror of demons it's in one of those wonders why we say that and so oh, it's okay. give us the knowledge of why oh, we're saying I'm excited. those things so it's that's going to be really why good. during our group victoria and all the ladies when they talk they say that they've gotten to know saint joseph yes. and one of the members was actually crying because she had a wonderful father who was very much like saint joseph he never complained she said and he just did his work and she just misses him terribly so um that's why i think that she she became very emotional over it she didn't say much but she she let us know that it was about her, the, the 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 sadness she was feeling was about her father and what she didn't understand what she had never understood that he had saint joseph up in like his place where i think he she said he made all their beds he made all their furniture and they were yeah. they were just you know in all of their father but they had no idea that saint joseph was their was his model and he and he displayed the virtues and that's why she became very emotional i think because it's it's with our parents we want to know our parents and when you know something about them she was re-experiencing him in a way she didn't know him when he was alive so she probably felt a little sadness saying i wish dad you told me but maybe her father couldn't articulate that at the time and maybe he just you know saint joseph was his model his role model and he just displayed those virtues so we when we're praying that mary that that saint joseph memoraire i will be praying for my sons to model saint joseph one of my sons is named saint joseph and he is a father so i will be praying for both of them to um to display these virtues so i'm so thankful that you brought yes. me to this and i hope you guys are getting some you guys will get something out of this if you just stick with the first couple of days yes yes okay well then we'll see you tomorrow guys have a wonderful bye. blessed day bye bye